Hello, my name is Nigel from Reyes Fleet Management. Today we're going to go over the components of the uh, Coke pump. First component in the system is a 12 volt battery. Next component is a 60 amp breaker. Also, you'll need a uh, 6 gauge wire. Next component is a compressor, cooler, your uh, mist filter, and a uh, mist filter solenoid. Okay, the mist filter solenoid comes on for uh, three seconds per every uh, 20 minutes. And when the compressor shuts off, it discharges right away. What it does is discharge the moisture at the bottom of the tank. Next component is your pressure switch. The pressure switch cuts in at 76 PSI and cuts off at 105 PSI. Next component is your uh, filter for your outlet. And there's also a regulator. The regulator should be regulated at uh, 43 PSI. The power box has an uh, on and off switch that has a timer on it and an hour meter. Inside the box is a 75 amp relay. Hello, this is Nadja from Reyes Fleet Management. Today we're going to do maintenance on a Coke pump. First component you want to check is make sure you have a 60 amp breaker with your power source, the 12 volts. You check your connections and check your wiring. Make sure all connections are tight and no damage to wiring. Check your tank. Make sure that is secured and tight. Your compressor, make sure that's secured and tight. Also your wiring on the here, make sure nothing is rubbing. All secured and tight. Your uh, filter. On changing the filter, make sure there's no pressure in your system. If there is, let all the pressure out. Pull down, twist and turn, and these filters are changed annually. Just check the condition of the filter. There's also another filter behind the uh, tank that should be changed the same way this one is. You have the inlet air filter. This is changed on an annual basis also. Just check condition of the filter. Also check your lines. Make sure they're all secure. And check your cooler for any damage or any debris on the cooler. And in the rear, check your lines also. And you check your uh, operation. And check in the operation. Make sure it's 43 PSI is the maximum amount of pressure coming out of your uh, outlet. If not, adjust your regulator. And with your uh, pressure switch, make sure it doesn't go past 105 PSI. And it will cut in at 76 PSI. Next component, one-way check valve for your uh, air. All right, next, we're gonna check the uh, pressure gauges, make sure they're operating properly, the cut in and cut out pressures. 